Well, hi there, everybody. Good morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski on this Wednesday morning. It's a uh, pretty quiet start for most of us, but we have had a lot of clouds roll eastward across the area overnight. There are a few breaks in the clouds, mainly over eastern Nebraska where it's a little chillier because of it. Temperatures here are in the 30s, but most of us are still in the 40s. Most of this, one thing I'll tell you right now, I'm using a different forecast model than I normally use. This one really enhances the moisture. It shows more, more moisture than what's really there. So if you're seeing this light green on this map, it's probably either just clouds or sprinkles. It's probably not much for moisture. Virga. Virga is rain that you see up in the sky but not reaching the ground. It evaporates before reaching the surface. So we're probably not seeing much out there other than a few sprinkles or very, very light rain in a few portions of western Nebraska. But as the day goes on, you'll see more of the dark green and the yellow and the orange. And that's more of an indication that we'll see moisture later on today here. So let's play this out. Not a lot of wind right now. The winds will pick up a little bit as the day goes on. Kind of a north wind right here. I'll even draw that in for you so you can kind of see it a little bit better. Here's your kind of wind direction right in here. Strongest winds may be around the uh, southeastern part of the area, uh, but again, not too bad, just a little on the breezy side. But we will see uh, that increase in shower chances here. Your, most of your rain is going to be right in here later today. We may see some sprinkles around the Tri-Cities and eastward, but not much moisture right in here initially. As we get towards supper time and thereafter, we'll be watching northern Kansas as thunderstorms fire up and then push northward. Here's 9 p.m. And you can see new thunderstorms developing on the north side of on the uh, south side of the area here, northern Kansas, and then crossing the border into southern Nebraska. This is just going to be just rain here. I don't think there'll be a thunderstorm activity. Maybe a little mix in far western Nebraska. Let's push this through midnight. This is when our best chance of severe weather is going to be is right in here, from nine to midnight. After that the severe weather threat goes down, but we still could see pockets of heavy rainfall, some lightning and thunder. Meanwhile, rain changing the snow into the southwest panhandle, but it's mostly going to stay out here. We are going to stay warm enough that we should avoid the snow for most of the area here. We've got showers around tomorrow. Maybe a few claps of thunder still left here. But notice there's not as much widespread rain as maybe what we were seeing with this for, with forecast models a few days ago. So outside of the thunderstorms, most places are probably looking at a quarter of an inch or less when it comes to rainfall amounts. But we will keep some rain around during the day tomorrow. So again, we're not done yet. We'll keep that rain going through the day tomorrow. Here's 5 p.m. And as we get into tomorrow evening, now we're watching that rain chance pushing to the south. So there's not much left by about midnight. This model only goes out through 1 o'clock in the morning right here. But you can see not much moisture after that. And again, as it gets colder Friday, Thursday night and Friday morning, really only cold enough for snow and way far west here, far west of Nebraska and into eastern Colorado. So most of us will avoid the snow. But we could see our first severe weather of the season right now focused to the southeast with the best chances here. A low and marginal threat in green from Omaha to Lincoln to York to the Tri-Cities to Holdridge down towards Norton and Smith Center, Kansas. Uh, but this is an area where there's a low end chance of severe weather mainly this evening. Uh, meanwhile, farther southeast, a level 2 out of 5 slight risk of severe weather. This is an area where we have a slightly better chance of maybe picking up some severe storms during the evening hours, mostly between 6 and 12 o'clock here. Let's take a look at things here when it comes to the threats. Large hail up to ping pong ball size hail. That's an inch and a half in diameter. That's going to be one of your big threats. And maybe some wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour that could do a little bit of damage. There's a very low end threat of an isolated tornado. Uh, but right now, that low-end threat is mainly going to be in far southeastern areas, right in here. So most of us, I don't think, will see much of a tornado threat. It's it's not a 0% chance, but it's very low. All right, on to highs for today. Still mild despite the clouds around today. Some sun in eastern Nebraska. 50s, 60s, and 70s. Cooler to the west, warmer to the east and southeast. Tonight's temperatures mostly settling into the 30s and 40s for overnight lows. And as we look ahead to tomorrow... A chillier day with some brisk north winds, but, and those winds will gust, maybe up to 35, 40 miles per hour on your Thursday out of the north here. That's drawing on cooler air, but doesn't look as cold as previously expected, which is why the snow chances don't look very good right now. Mid to upper 40s here to the west, a little colder in the panhandle. That's where that chance of snow is here. Lower 50s in central Nebraska, north central Kansas, low to mid 50s farther to the east. Tomorrow night, a little cooler, upper 20s, low to mid 30s for lows. Maybe a little colder up toward the uh, northwest here. And then looking ahead to our Friday as we'll see the sun start to return. Temperatures do start to come back up into the 50s for highs on Friday. Well, let's check out the Tri-Cities uh, seven-day forecast versus these next three days, which we've kind of already covered. Again, rain chances mostly coming tonight. Thunderstorms as well. 
and then still some rain lingering into tomorrow and even maybe tomorrow evening. A blustery and colder day, chillier day tomorrow, but that high is not far from our average high for this time of the year. We'll rise back up on Friday and into Saturday. A cold front comes through Saturday afternoon. That's going to cool us down for Sunday. So Sunday, St. Patrick's Day will be a chillier, blustery day. Those winds will be strong again out of the north on St. Patrick's Day. But after that, we do start to warm things up Monday and into Tuesday of next week. One thing worth watching, I'm, I'm keeping note of it because I have started running my sprinklers a bit here. Those lows, Sunday night and Monday night down into the 20s. If you are running underground sprinklers, you want to make sure to drain those out before this weekend because it will be colder at night this upcoming weekend. Long range forecast for the next 10 days. You can see the temperatures again coming down as we look towards Sunday, but then beyond that, temperatures start to rise back up here again as we get towards Monday, Tuesday, and beyond here. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, back into the 60s. Our next shot of colder air right here on Thursday or on Friday of next week, as it does look like more moisture could return later on next week. North Platte for folks that are watching from KNOP. You can see uh, not quite as warm as the Tri-Cities, but still not terrible. And again, I've taken snow chances out of your forecast. You're mainly looking at rain. Uh, and that rain will mostly come. Uh, sprinkles are light rain this afternoon. Better chances of rain tonight and continuing into tomorrow before wrapping up tomorrow evening. Temperatures then start to come up Friday and Saturday before the drop in temperatures on Sunday. And then you're rising back up Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, back into the 60s, and then you'll see that drop again uh, by next Friday with that next chance of moisture moving in. In fact, as we look at the long-range models here, uh, this is the European model. Again, notice any snow is mostly going to be to our west. Most of us will not contend with snow with this system, which is great news. That rain, though, moves out Thursday night to Friday morning. It's close. North Platte, maybe some flakes. The Europeans a little more aggressive with this. I'm just not very confident in that happening, though. Then we look ahead to later next week. First off, here's Saturday, right here. There's your cold front right about there. Saturday afternoon, the cold fronts in southern Nebraska. We're picking up on a north wind. We'll feel that colder air sun Saturday night into Sunday. But then some recovery next week with quiet weather to begin the week. But later in the week, we may see some moisture chances return and maybe a little cooler, some possible snow out west or to the north as we get towards the end of next week, depending on how cold it gets here. The GFS forecast model, let's see where there are differences. So here's the rain and thunderstorms later today and tonight. Snow staying way to our west until maybe Thursday evening, Friday morning. But this model's not as aggressive as the, Euro is with, the European model is with the snow. Then we look ahead to Saturday afternoon. There's the cold front diving south. Behind that front, colder conditions Sunday, but no moisture. Next moisture chances will come towards the middle and end of next week. Rain and maybe eventually a little snow. We'll see. This model doesn't have much snow right in here. So, kind of an interesting forecast coming up here in these next few days. A little more ups and downs here. Not quite as warm as yesterday, but still not terrible for this time of year. No major shots of cold air. No snow. Not much for snow in the forecast. And... You know, typical March weather for the most part here. You usually get that classic mid-March winter storm. It's not in the cards here for the uh, for any time soon. No major winter weather, nothing, no repeat of what we had last week. So with that, I am going to let you all go. I want to thank you for watching on this Wednesday morning. I'll see you all again with Thursday on Thursday with all of the latest. Until then, take care and God bless. Bye.